Hey everybody, happy Fangirl Friday. This is Anita Castellar and this is Fangirl Friday Live. Thank you for tuning in. Every week we try to unpack the business behind the fandom. Um, we feature our friends and families and colleagues from all over the genre of fandom. And one of those would be photography. And I love the idea of costumers and cosplayers and all the creativity goes with it. So I wanted to bring to forward with you, Mark Edwards, who is really fantastic about this. So Mark, how are you? I'm great. Thanks, Anita. You know, how did you start on the business of fandom? And you know, maybe even how did you get on a Titanic set? Right. Like, how did you, how did you start that? I mean, you said you came to, you yeah. moved to LA when you yeah. were, you know, younger, but where did you come from and what informed that journey? Oh, well, here's the thing. I think um, most uh, people my age, when I think when we saw Star Wars in the theater, when we were kids, I think that that kind of influenced all of us in such a great way where nothing could really ever be the same again. Right. Uh, we, we, for whatever reason, we all wound up together. So I think that that kind of, that movie just kind of polarized an entire generation. And uh, I've always wanted to uh, work in the movie business. So I had an opportunity. I had a friend in San Diego at the time um, and uh, she wasn't able to take a job. And she said, you should take this job. Wow. And uh, I said, you know what, maybe I will. And I went, I interviewed and it was for, uh, for, for Titanic. And wow. that's how, that's how it all started. Yeah. What but it gift. was through her, I, you know, was able to get it. So, wow. So yeah. what were some of your fandoms as a kid besides Star Wars? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, Star Wars, of course, but you know, I'm a huge fan of uh, Indiana Jones, uh, Lord of the Rings, mm. Blade Runner. Uh, oh, I love Blade yeah. Runner. Yeah. Oh, I, I do too. Love it so much. And, um, yeah, Conan the Barbarian, if I haven't said that already. Yeah, love that. Yeah. <laughs> love Conan. Yeah. yeah. I love all the old cheesy ones too. I mean, you know, yes. they seem cheesy, but I don't know. They just, I can't stop watching them. You show them on TV and I'll still watch them as if it was the first time. Uh, yeah, Conan the Barbarian, the Destroyer. If you had yeah, so much fun. Seven figures, like they're incredible. Yeah. Well, um, you know, as a kid, I was such, I was really, I loved like Frank Frazetta. And I loved like all of the comic book, I mean, well, the, the, the covers for all of the novels that mm. he used to paint, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, very impactful, you know, as a kid growing up and seeing those books. So I think that, you know, it's the other reason why I kind of love that genre, that, that character so much. Cool. Did you always photograph uh, people before, you know, like in the younger, before, let's say, to be before Titanic and after Titanic, were you, were you a photographer just as a hobby? Well, yeah, before, just as, yeah, as a hobby, because, uh, you know, everything was still film then, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, it used to be kind of expensive, but, you know, as soon as the, the digital cameras started coming out, um, things be, you know, got to be a little bit easier in terms of how much you could photograph and the ease and the technology that came with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, made things, you know, very exciting and new and, uh, yeah, that's kind of how that started. I was like, wow, well, we can, I can really, I've always been around cameras, but this was like a new, you know, it opened up a new door mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. digital. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So then after you, you're on the set, you, you did that for years, yeah. you did, you know, visual effects and, and such like that. So what other projects did you actually get to work on? Do we know uh, any you, other ones? Oh yeah. Uh, well, I have, uh, I've got a, a lot of really bad movies <laughs> that I worked on <laughs> a lot of really, uh, not, not so many popular ones, but I've worked on a few that were really cool. And, um, I, I did some TV shows. I did some music videos. Um, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. And then when did you start photographing people? Like, because right now tell us, tell us what is, uh, Mark Edwards photography and, and mm -hmm. how did you start that? Well, it, it was really interesting. I, I got into the, uh, the the fandom world, the convention world, you know, started going to conventions. And it was mm -hmm. it was so much fun because, you know, everyone was kind of expressing their inner nerd. And I felt really, really comfortable around that environment because, as a, you know, as a kid and as an adult, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm a big nerd, too. So it, it was it was an opportunity to, you know, take pictures and meet people and look at the costuming club. So you know, it, it, things just kind of, you know, moved that direction, Yeah, you know, which was yeah. really exciting. I got to know you when you were part of the 501st, um, That's true. the costuming club. Um, for those of you who may not know, the 501st uh, Legion is a official Star Wars fan club. Um, they represent the bad guys, but they do good. 
as their hashtag likes to say, bad guys doing good. And, um, you know, they're really great folks. They, they are all over the world and they live out this, this fantasy of being in Star Wars, sharing with, with their friends and family, even their children. And, and they create these amazing costumes, which are screen accurate um, and out of their own pockets. And a lot of times they're not cheap to make. So shout out to the 501st and to the Rebel Legion, um, you know, and, and the quality of the work that goes into it. And that's, I was working on Star Wars at the time and that's how I met Mark. And, yeah. you know, you had such great, you know, photography that was incredible to see, you know, the images. I thought they were licensed photos or licensed, you know, shots off the set or something like that. And they were, they were fans. They were of you and your friends and, you know, hanging out. So yeah. how did that start? So besides but, being at the conventions, then you you actually begin to photograph people officially. So how did that start? Wow. Well, uh, I, I got some calls. I got some calls to shoot some photographs officially. Um, I did some work for Lucasfilm back in 2015. Um, there was the Star Wars app that came out then. I did the uh, the photograph of the First Order Stormtrooper, and they yeah. used that photo on all of their campaigns. And then it just started to kind of really you know, roll. I mean, it was a slow yeah. roll, but things really started to kind of pick up. And it was like, you know, I can do this. This is, this is really exciting, you know, and I love it so much that it was just, this wasn't really working. This was like, this is awesome. You know, how can we make this really cool? I so, think we um, want to show one of your early photos though, where you're in the desert. Oh yeah. Okay. Tell us that story. Yeah. Play around and, you know, just really let off some steam. It was awesome. Um, and I think that, you know, those type of bonding friendship type situations, you know, just kind of, you know, lend itself to even more photos. And, you know, I wound up doing more of that type of work. Mm -hmm. So it was, it so, was so much fun. The, but the people, let's just be clear, the people in those photo, in that photo that we're, you know, showing, yeah. they're costumers. That, yeah. That's not an official, you know, uh, you know, I should say not an official licensed, you know, Lucasfilm production, right? It's oh. it's you and a bunch of guys or girls getting together mm -hmm. and, and setting up a photo shoot. Yeah, it's so funny. It's like you call up a bunch of people, say, hey, listen, anybody want to drive three hours to a dry <laughs> lake, bay, lake bed and take some photos? Sure, it sounds like a great idea, you know? But uh, that's the great thing about, uh, you know, the community is that yeah. everybody wants to get together and do stuff like that together. It's fun. Well, it's a, it's great bonding. And then I'm sure they were thinking, Hey, let's just support our friend, you know, and yeah. they're very supportive of the community. You know, I, I think all fandom communities are very supportive of each other, you know, because it's a safe environment, you know, it's safe haven, so to speak, everybody expresses themselves very, you know, in a way that, you know, no one's going to criticize or make fun because, you know, the person who's talking, you're talking to are doing the same thing as you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you feel comfortable in that environment, expressing your creativity and the creativity that goes in these costumes. And then the creativity that goes into the photography is, mm -hmm. is pretty, you know, pretty incredible. So then, you know, there's another one that you've shared. It's right behind you. Actually, we have that close up photo as well of, of a fairy. Yeah. You know, I say, make sure it's right. <laughs> well, the, the, the photograph that, that you're probably looking at right now is uh, I, a friend of mine on Facebook made that made that dress. And I reached out to her and I said, listen, I said, this dress is beautiful. Would you like to take some pictures? We shot some pictures in the studio. I thought that this was by far one of my favorite shots that I've taken in, in the studio. That's that's pretty. Yeah. Well, I guess that shows, you know, all of your visual effects training, right, coming through and all of that, because yeah. I don't think there's a lot of people who will be able to do that without, you know, the benefit of, of Photoshop. Well, I, I think that there's a, today there are so many creative people that are on Instagram taking pictures right now. I am amazed at some of the stuff that I see. Even some of the people that are taking pictures with smartphones are amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Did you use a special camera for, no, uh, for the? I just, uh, well, the, the camera that I used for this one, I think was, a uh, gosh, if I go back in time, probably like an, and like a 90 D or an 80 D Canon. Mm -hmm. you know, on a, probably this is probably shot on a 24 to 70 lens. So, um, nothing, uh, nothing super, super ultra expensive. Just, you know, you well, for you camera yeah. buffs out there, you know, maybe the, this, the technology and the equipment yeah. call outs will be really helpful for you and your hobby or in your work yeah. or what, you know, what have you, because it, I think it's helpful. You have to have the right tools for the trade as well, mm -hmm. right? You can't just get out there and Sometimes you just can't get out there now with the the technology of iPhone. I mean, 
gosh, oh. I mean, I think anybody can be a photographer, videographer. <laughs> it's amazing the, um, the amount of technology that they're putting into the uh, smartphones today. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, incredible. And it's only going to get better. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Really, really, it's mind blowing. Now they're talking about, they have like LIDAR. They, you can shoot 360 degrees now. Um, there's AI built into a lot of the software that people use to um, edit photos. I mean, it's going by really, really fast. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, I know that you didn't have the benefit of all of that, but yet you still have amazing photographs. So let, let's talk about, um, there's another one that I really like from Ahsoka. Is that from the Rebels, the, like the Rebels fight scene between her and Vader? The yeah. one turned into a poster. So tell us a little bit about that one. Yeah, I was really lucky. I, I got to work with a friend of mine. Her name's Ray Kennix, and we shot some pictures well, probably like a year or two ago. And yeah, those wound up as part of an official Lucasfilm licensed print. That's amazing. Yeah. So, but she's I was a blown away by that. Right? She, is she yeah. a costumer? Yeah, a costumer, cosplayer, and an actor. Yeah. And so you just decided one day, I'm going to, you know, let, hey, let's get together and take these yeah. of photos. Who, who's the Vader in, the, in that? Gosh, I am not sure. Okay. I, am, I, I don't know. I didn't shoot the Vader one, but mm -hmm. I, the Ahsoka ones are, are, are mine. And, and uh, that was awesome. We got to do a whole bunch of different uh, uh, poses uh, for her character and, and uh, it worked out. Fandom, which not everyone gets there. Not everyone progresses into that area because it's really costly and timely. And you have to have talent, quite frankly, because I don't have that talent. Uh, I'll buy the Her Universe line all day long and like some great t-shirts, but I will never, I don't think I'll ever be a cosplayer because I just don't have that talent. <laughs> but you, you know, you, you end up in these various conventions. Um, and, and I want to talk about one more cosplayer before we get into like the official photos that we have here. But, you know, I love the Wonder Woman swashbuckler. Yeah, like she that's amazing. Tell us about that photo. Oh, that was fun. So that's actually taken at uh, it's in, in San Diego during Comic-Con. But no, no canon Wonder Woman pirate outfit. Right. I mean, right. I think that's her own take on that. Right. Yeah. Everybody, and it's, it's so crazy. It's like people do mashups and they do like different takes on the character and they really kind of make it their own. It's it's a it's fantastic. So what, what kind of inspiration or te techniques or different things when you're looking at a, at a subject, you're looking at a person or a costume or something get, that inspires you, what, what's the kind of thought process that goes on when you're, when you're getting inspired by that? When, when you first see it, what happens? Mm. Well, I think it's just really important to kind of keep things um, exciting, keep things dramatic, um, keep things, you know, uh, you know, on brand, so to speak, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, if you're doing these type of shots, but, um, you know, just make it exciting, make it colorful, uh, make it interesting, you know? So when you saw her, you know, mm -hmm. in her Wonder Woman outfit, yeah, what, what, what took off from there? You're like, okay, I want to do this and I want to do that. How, how did that work out? What oh, it was real fast. It's kind of like, oh, you, you have to be, you know, by the captain's wheel and stand here and I'll shoot this way. And then it just, that's how it happens. Like boom, 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 real quick. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How, so this was an open area, basically. I mean, in San Diego, there's these, like you said, these pirate ships and stuff that they bring yeah. in and they're kind of props. And, and a lot of times they're open for people to kind of mill yeah. about. And so there wasn't a lot of pre-planning. Well, I think maybe on, there like, was a whole group of them that, that were there. Okay. And uh, yeah, so it's like, I think they had like poison ivy and they had, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the DC villains, yes. female villains. Uh, were there so it was cool and they were all in pirate like all in pirate time. yeah oh, wow. that's yeah it's kind of like a whole theme yeah that's kind of neat so what made you pick wonder what maybe because she was your oh friend and the other yeah yeah we were just there together and there are other pictures too but um yeah that's pretty great i i think that's just really incredible and then the clouds and i don't know just the just the sharpness of it right the crispness of the images i think it's pretty yeah. cool yeah. Well, you try to showcase them in their best light because they spend all this time and effort, you know, to build these costumes, you know, and they go to great pains to, you know, show their love of these characters. So you want to make sure you try to do a good job for them. So, yeah. yeah. So how did you transform, you know, hanging out with your friends in a desert, you know, dry bed <laughs> uh, and setting up these shots to, 
you know, Mark Edwards photography? Like yeah. how did that, how did that actually evolve? Oh gosh. Well, um, it, it, it just kind of happened. Um, I think right around the, right around 2015, I started just producing a lot of work and I just started getting calls. I, I, got, I got an Instagram account. I got a website, um, started, started my business and then, um, uh, you know, just started working hard, just trying really hard to kind of get the word out there that I was doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And the, the phone calls came, you know, it took some time, but I did get some calls, yeah. you know, and then, um, just started working. And what was, what was your first call? Oh, well, first call, I think it's Lucasfilm's first call uh, for, for the Star Wars app. That was kind of like the, 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 the bigger hurdle. Uh -huh. And then uh, I've gotten other ones, too. I got to work with uh, the uh, Editors Guild here in California They're for Cinemontage Magazine uh, and Her Universe. Uh, I just completed a, uh, a shoot for Fan Wraps. Everybody knows Fan Wraps. Oh, wow. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Fan Wraps. Yeah. Uh, so um, why don't we talk then about your work with uh, Her Universe and yeah. and I think Repop in general, right? Because then you started yeah. going around on the convention circuit. So let's 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 talk about Her Universe since you mentioned her, Ashley Eckstein. Yeah. Shout out to her. And actually, I'm actually wearing uh, one of her early works here. Um, but you know, tell us that what it. Well, let me set it up then. So as far as like Her Universe, if you haven't heard of the the companies so far, it's now part of the Hot Topic family of brands. Um, started off as Ashley Eckstein, who is the voice of Ahsoka Tano on uh, for Star Wars, you know, and she started as a fangirl. She was like, oh, there's not enough, you know, apparel that is very feminine driven and very look feminine looking, and I'm going to start this brand, and she did. And now she's often running on many other projects, but um, you know, this this apparel line continues to grow. Mm -hmm. And um, I got to work with some really, really awesome people that I can now call my friends. I mean, mm -hmm. really, really fantastic. So, so what, what do you know about the process that goes into um, you know, putting the whole fashion show together. Were you part of the, like any photo photographing or videoing of the, of the process behind the scenes? Yeah. Well, as, as I'm primarily, I was primarily their stills photographer. So they have an entire department for video and managing the, the, the show as it, as it stands. But my job is to get the, get the stills, mm -hmm. you know, and capture the, those moments, those little special moments that kind of happen throughout the show. So tell us about this image that we have here of her, um, oh. on the runway. Yeah. Well, see, these are the big reveal moments. These are like, <laughs> you know, the, 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 She's not doing the YMCA, she reveals huh? her, 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 her <laughs> outfit. And, uh, yeah, those are the special moments that everybody wants to remember. Those are great. People who have been in the fan, uh, world and maybe are even cosplayers and they want to design officially licensed, uh, apparel, um, Ashley provides a platform for them to do that. So, you know, everyone can submit their designs is a cost. It's a contest. There's a panel of reviewers, including Ashley herself. And then, you know, some, some folks are selected to make the top, you know, final list. And then they they get to create their, their designs into an actual outfit, an actual creation, whether it be mm -hmm. a, a dress or a costume or, or something thereabouts based off of their favorite fandom. Mm -hmm. She does these amazing little background shots and videos of, you know, their process and, and how they evolve throughout the design process. And then they get to run the catwalk, you know? I mean, that's amazing. Either they're working, they're wearing their own apparel or, I mean, their own design, or they have a model, whichever they choose, right? Isn't that how that works? Yeah, that's how it works, yeah. 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 And then, um, and then you know, ima imagine that. Like, you 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 design this idea, you, you, you draw it, you submit it to someone, you get chosen, and then, you know, you get your moment in time where it goes down, you know, the fashion show, and it's a catwalk. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Oh, it's amazing. And the house is packed. I mean, it's just sort of hundreds and hundreds and maybe even thousands. I don't know how many yeah. people they can fit in that ballroom. Yeah. But it is, it is electric. Yeah. What goes it, on in there. It's so amazing. And, and there's like a DJ going. And so your, your job is what during all of that? Yeah, my job is to get the stills. I'm getting the still photography, all of the special moments that happen during that show. What go, where do they go after that? I mean, I've seen a couple here and there, but I've just been so curious because I know that you're shooting a ton of yeah. stills. Yeah. Where do they go? You mean the photos? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Where, yeah. Where, what happens after the show? Yeah. So it, 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 it turns into a long night 
for me, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, all of those, um, all of those, all the photographs that I take go to her universe and all of their, um, uh, sponsors, mm. you know, um, you know, or affiliates, right. You know, so Disney style, you know, any, you know, anybody that's involved with the show. So I get to create little galleries for everybody so that they can go in there and grab everything that they need so that they can start talking about it during Comic-Con. They'll have imagery. Right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And because through digital magic right now, oh my gosh, have their yeah. stuff pretty quickly. Yeah. It's never quick enough, but yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> They're always beating down your door. What is that? Oh, no, no, no. So we, we always wish we could go faster, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. it takes time, but yeah, it, it's, it's, it's just so much fun though. So just so you people understand when, when folks like us go to fan conventions, we may have a good time, but we're working, like we're working yeah. hard. Right. And this yeah. is, this is kind of like, that's why I think this, this live stream is so great because then we can talk about what all goes in behind the sauce, what everybody loves the gravy, but what, what goes in after, you know, behind the scenes yeah. to make it work. And, you know, people like you are creating yeah. photography and images and moments yeah. in time and capturing them. So yeah. you live, live events are live events are their own beast though, because uh, you only get one chance and the, the moment is done. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you've really got to be ready to go and be in position and have your focus and have everything ready to go. Because once the moment happens, you need to be ready to get that shot. And so then how do you know when the shot is? It. How hmm? do you know when that shot is? Like, how do you know when the, you, when to take it? Yeah. I mean, I get to see like a, a like a pre-rehearsal, but it's not really like, it's unexpected. Like the great moments that happen during that show are really just spontaneous. So you just kind of have to be in the right position and be ready to be looking through the viewfinder and, you know, be ready to go. Wow. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. It's like, you never really know what to expect. So you just have to be ready. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of yeah. get that, but I think it takes a special eye though, to know through the viewfinder, right? In that square, little square, mm -hmm. when, when is the shot? Like when to yeah. put hit click? Yeah. I guess it's easy now, but, no, not easy. I'm not trying to downplay it, yeah. but it's, it's a little bit better that you can actually capture random no moments and then be like, oh, there's a good one, right? Because mm -hmm. it's digital and you can just take photos, photos, yeah. photos, yeah. as opposed to before it was, you know, on film, mm -hmm. that was very, it was, I think a little trickier. Yeah, no, it makes things easier. There's no doubt about it. The technology that we use today, you know, in these cameras are fantastic and they do allow you to kind of expand how much you're able to photograph in a given time and a uh, great benefit to photographers. But it doesn't, even with the technology, it doesn't tell you how to tell a story. It doesn't tell you where to move the camera. It doesn't tell you how to comp compose anything. It doesn't tell you how to light anything. No, so uh, it's really up to you to design how that looks. And it's, it, it's, it's always different. I'll take pictures one way. You, another photographer will take pictures completely different and that's okay. But it's just, people are just different. We just have a different eye of kind of looking the way we look through the, view, the viewfinder, just different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, you started working with her universe and, and read, then moved on to read pop. Yeah. So Repop had you do a couple of pro projects. Repop for for those of us who don't know, tell us who Repop. Is. Yeah, so Repop, uh, they're responsible for like Star Wars Celebration, um, New York Comic Con. I've had an awesome opportunity to shoot for Repop in both of those uh, conventions in New York and at, at Star Wars Celebration. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Really, Which really. Which one was really. your favorite? Oh, you can't give me favorites because <laughs> all of them are so different. I mean, there's so much to love. That's like asking me to pick a favorite Indiana Jones movie. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Um, yeah. But so, um, did you have a really favorite moment, though? Yes. Uh, well, any, the, 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 um, the original cast for uh, for Star Wars, like I got a really, really cool shot of uh, Harrison Ford and Luke Skywalker. Yeah. I think yeah. Um, and so I remember when he did show up. I think it was 2015. Yeah. Well, right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, for episode seven. And, you know, he's at Star Wars Celebration and, and there he is. Out comes, yeah. you know, Harrison Ford and the, and the crowd goes wild. I think we're showing that photo too, by the way, between the. Oh, two okay. So, um, you know, where they're hanging out, having a great conversation and tell us about being in that area and then trying to take that shot, but yet not invade. Right. Cause you're yeah. trying to be discreet. 
Yeah, see, this is the real challenge of event photography, especially the way that the conventions are kind of set up, is that you want to respect the fact that you have thousands of people in a ballroom, hundreds of people, you know, um, trying to watch the presentation. You want to be respectful of them, mindful of their, their plane of sight. So you need to kind of be out of the way. So it can be a real challenge. So a lot of times I'm, you know, I'm down low or I'm in a corner or I'm, I'm, I'm in the very, very front, you know, hunkered down shooting, you know, high, you know, mm. so yeah, just trying to be respectful of everybody else. It's a challenge. Yeah. Is it, is it pretty physical? Like, do you yeah. really feel like yeah. it's a toll on your body? Yeah. And I'm, it's so funny. It's like the cameras, I, I think that they're making them heavier, <laughs> <laughs> you know, carrying more gear. It's like, everything's starting to get, everything starts to get heavier. I think, I don't know. As we get older, everything yeah. gets heavier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's getting getting heavier, and there's a lot of ibuprofen at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure some biotin or something going yeah. on there. <laughs> so you know, you 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 captured this particular moment. Was there ever a moment? You know, was there? A, I don't know when. Like after this shutter goes right. Yeah. Is there another like? activity or something that happens after that you're like oh i wish i caught that you know or or i don't know i just i just wonder yeah i mean there are times where i wish that i could get i i would love to get more access like backstage more like behind the scenes of like mm. people, like entering and exiting and then like walking i think that those right there tell a huge story like i want to be like behind the stage like shooting through and seeing the audience's reaction mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. I've, gotten, I've gotten a couple of those. I've gotten a couple of those I'm really proud of. But yeah, yeah it's like, th that's it. You see that everybody's face just kind of light up when they see something, like the whole audience. That's that's a great shot. You think that's because you were that person at one point that you want to yeah. tell that story to? Yeah, yeah. We see ourselves in that too, yeah. you know? You know, that's yeah. how we feel, you know? It's all about it. It's emotion, right? It's like what all collectively, it's kind of like how we all feel. So we all want to kind of express that together. That's a great thing about the community. You know, mm -hmm. we're yeah. all, we're all the same. Yeah, we, de we definitely are. <laughs> yeah, we definitely are. Um, you know, I remember my, I've told this story before, but I remember the, the time where, you know, the, the trailer, you know, was shown for the first time in the giant arena where it says, you know, and, and they end it with Chewie, we're home, right? Um, for the episode seven movie. I'm in that arena with like, I don't know, 4,000 other people. And mind you, I work there <laughs> and, and everybody around me is bawling. And yeah. I'm just like, and I'm bawling, you know, it was just, yeah. it was so great because you know, and then the troopers, you know, for the first time come out in their armor, like that was such a special moment for me. I feel like in my career, that's one of the biggest highlights that I feel like I could have, I have contributed to the fans, you know, mm -hmm. that I was able to like do that, but I also experienced it with them for the first mm -hmm. time too. So yeah. that was, you know, and boy, was I nervous. I was like, this better not go off with a hitch. <laughs> Right. But. Well, that's that's the thing, right? You worked really hard on something for such a long time and then to have it received so well. Yeah. I mean, it's like, oh, this yeah. finally. Yes. Right. I you wonder know? if that's how these Avengers guys feel, because I have another photo, which I really think is fun that I want to show and talk about. So sure. the Marvel Avengers panel, it looks like. Yeah. Game. And, uh, you know, that was their their big moment. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm to come out and, and say hi to everybody. So. so this is New York Comic Con, you said? Yeah, New York, yeah. That's great. So, so cool. What's the difference then? How do you see, when you go off to these various conventions, is there a, a big difference in, in, I guess, atmosphere or the fans who actually arrive, the attendees or the mm -hmm. actual celebrities who go? Do you feel a big difference between the different conventions as you're shooting them? Mm, not, not, maybe the weather. You know, <laughs> you know, one's really hot, one's really yeah. cold. <laughs> well, like New York, you know, it's in October is a little chilly. You know, it's like, you know, but uh, no, it's fine. I, I, I think everybody's pretty, pretty similar. It's the same type of vibe, though. I mean, you can kind of feel it. It's the same group of folks. You know, it's like we're all here together. This is fun. So the face has changed, but the sit, the people are the same, so to speak. Yeah. So to speak, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I did feel a little bit of a difference um, between, let's say, San Diego Comic Con and like a New York Comic Con. New York mm. Comic Con still feels very much entrenched in the comic book world, mm. right? 
Um, and then San Diego has grown so big and a little bit more commercialized, you mm -hmm. know, and, and all the big studios go and set up their, you know, the big, their big, you know, kind of experiences. Yeah. So it, it feels a little bit more over the top than, you know, the New York Comic Con. I don't know. If maybe it maybe it's just space. Maybe that's it. There's so much like, like square yardage or you know, square miles of, yeah. you know, <laughs> fun, just like expanded. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I think you're right. I think in the end, you know, we're all kind of in it together and we feel the same way, regardless of which coast or which place we're in, you know, mm -hmm. whether, but whatever we, whether we gravitate more towards comic books or video games or, you know, just the, the films or TV shows, I think you're right. Like we experience it very similarly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have moments like the Tomb Raider. So we're going to go into Tomb Raider. And talk oh, about right that because that's like a whole nother left hand circuit for you. Yeah, that's got. I think uh, I, I've shot for uh, Crystal Dynamics for E3, you know, for the Tomb Raider game. Um, you know, a lot of fan interaction, a lot of the cosplay that goes on at, the, at those conventions. A lot of fun. We have a, a question from the chat. Sure. So, do you have a favorite photo? Oh my gosh. Um, I have favorite genres. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite photo because they're all different, mm -hmm. you know, you know, mm -hmm. I, I would love like, you know, because I'm such a huge pop culture fan. I've never done like a James Bond, like tribute style photo. I want to try to do something like that. That'd something that's pretty sophisticated. That might be kind of cool. You know, and I love Westerns. So oh, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I love, I, yeah, I love James Bond and, yeah. and all of the technology and all the gadgets mm. that go with it. Yeah. Uh, Sean Connery is still my favorite, even though, yeah. you know, I, I still like, I don't know, I like them all, but the women, you know, the Bond girls, you know, have really just kind of evolved as well throughout the years. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, changing with the times. noir like how did that become a love of yours how are you embodying that now in in your photography yeah. well back in 2000 i think it was 2008 um i got a chance to work on this movie called the spirit you know not a lot of people saw that but it's based on the frank miller uh comic okay and uh, a lot of black and white a lot of uh you know classic hollywood type you know mm -hmm cinematography and of course this is you know from john rodriguez and frank miller they did like all the sin city things now mm -hmm. granted it's not like the classic film war that people uh remember you know see that's but, what uh, i think about like yeah Arthur hitchcock and yeah and such. yeah yeah so th that had a had a big influence and of course digital photography was coming around around that time really starting to kind of make its way around i'm like you know this is really really awesome you know and i'm not afraid of shadows so i should i should start shooting this stuff this is really mm -hmm. great so, Why would people be afraid yeah. of shadows? Well, I think I think that people just don't want like you know harsh shadows, you know, like really bright light, really really heavy contrast. But I think it's beautiful. I think it's really really cool and different. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm praying for a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to be out in the cusp yeah. of that. So yeah. we have a few photos. So tell us a couple of you know like tell us about these uh, styles. What, how did you choose subjects? You know what stood out about each person that made yeah you know, no it's just them. yeah a lot of it is like the wardrobe and 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 what the makeup looks like and then i'm a big fan of like uh, of george harrell you know and george harrell did all of these beautiful hollywood portraits you know back in the day mm -hmm. and uh they're they're masterful every one of them now uh, you know i just love doing this type of this type of work i just think it's amazing um you know, the models are great. Everybody's having fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of uh, Casablanca style, a little bit of Alfred Hitchcock, like you said, mm -hmm. you know. I love that. Yeah. We have another question for you actually um, from Sophia. Do you prefer live events where only you have a slim chance to take pictures or normal photo shoots? Oh, hmm. a slim, maybe the slim oh, chance. <laughs> maybe the slim chance, because maybe that'll make it more rare. I don't know. A little bit more. Yeah, I guess of it depends on the situation, rush. maybe. Huh? A little bit more of an adrenaline rush. Yeah, maybe a little bit more of it. Like, yeah, you got one chance to get it. Maybe that's that's the uh, the Death Star trench run. Maybe we like that. <laughs> that is great. I love that analogy. Yeah. That's really funny. Like event yeah. shooting is like the Death Star trench run. Yeah, it's like you got one chance to get this. So. Well, maybe two because there were two Death Stars. And they that's both... true. And, <laughs> and you have to wait way. for them to build the next one. 
<laughs> that's speech convention. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe we're all secretly adrenaline junkies and that's what we want. I don't know. Maybe it's our safe haven for a drunk, being an adrenaline yeah. junkie, right? So not all of us can be, you know, fighter pilots and whatnot. Yeah. I love this one um, where, you know, they're at a lunch counter, this black and white photo here that, that oh. tell us about that. Three, three of my buddies were all together. We're all hanging out and we're taking pictures, you know, and because, you know, Blade Runner is, you know, neo noir, which is close to film noir. I just thought, you know, this would be kind of cool to make it black and white and, mm -hmm. you know. So you actually took a little bit of a creative dramatic. liberty. Yeah. Yeah. We just try to put your own spin on it. And I think that that's also what people in the fan community does is they, they take what they love. They put their own spin on it. They put it back out in the world and, you know, that's them expressing themselves. And I think the photography kind of, goes along the same way. It's like, how can I put a spin on it? That's amazing. Yeah. What, what else would you want to put a spin on? Oh my gosh. Well, like I said, I mean, I've, our, I, I want to do the James Bond tribute. I want to do, uh, I want to do more Westerns. I definitely want to do more, more film noir stuff. Mm -hmm. So definitely want to, you know, exp you know, explore more of that. W one of my favorite Westerns, it's not one of the old Westerns, but one of the newer ones is um, Tombstone. I know my family will like awesome. roll their eyes at this moment when they hear this <laughs> because every single time that's another one just like conan or whatever yeah. every single time it may come on it's you know it's like the first time yeah so, who doesn't like uh, val kilmer is uh, doc holiday right? everybody I'm loves your huckleberry him. i'll be your i'm your huckleberry, huckleberry. yeah that. And the then best. He, he does like the whole like gunslinger thing with the cup uh come on yeah and kurt russell i mean everybody loves kurt russell yeah. that stoic you know that you know and, yeah. and they don't get a lot of people don't get a think about the costuming either to be honest like i think that the costumes are pretty amazing even though they're they're a little bit simplistic for the men and they're much oh. more elaborate for for the women but i i love the way that they they're almost like priest like robes you know like the, the long duster jackets and stuff it's very stoic almost like the well like older orthodox style yeah. you know where we're now the priest robes have evolved in certain cases, but you know, where they used to wear the long cassocks and stuff like that. Yeah. It reminds me of that because I guess he's justice, right? And he's yeah. stoic in that. Yeah. So anyway, that was maybe Westerns favorite. will make a comeback too. You know, yeah. we'll have all of this stuff going to come back. <laughs> it's all because of you. You're going to bring it all back. <laughs> so what would you want to do next besides like, you know, the genres, right? You talked about a little bit more film noir and a little bit more, you know, you want to do a Western and stuff. What, mm -hmm. what do you want to do in more shows? Obviously we all want to get out there, but yeah. what would else be on your bucket list? You mean, well, I would love for conventions to come back. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, the sooner that that comes back, the better. I think it'd be great to kind of see everybody. I think everybody needs that. So hopefully, you know, things will work out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, now I'm going to get a little bit serious at the moment. Has that mm -hmm. affected you quite badly um, as a business that they haven't been around? Yeah, I think that I think it's affected everybody mm -hmm. and, um, and not just photographers. I think it's affected everybody that's involved in that industry. And I don't think that we're any any we're, we're special or, you know, we're not. We're, we're just like everybody else. Everybody's been affected by it. And um, I just I'm just really curious how much of that's going to change, you know, in the in the in the uh, coming months. Right. you know, or years, you know, we'll kind of see how it goes. But I think that the creative people will figure out a way to reinvent themselves and figure out a way to uh, use the technology that we have to keep doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. so, so I think we yeah hit the fast forward button and we'll see where it takes us. Have you had to like reinvent yourself a little bit? A little bit, a little bit. Like I've, I've had to take on work that normally that uh, I wouldn't normally do, you like, know, like what? Well, here's the thing. I've a lot of 360 degree photography, a lot of virtual tours, you know, architecture. You architecture. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff that I would normally be like, right, really? And I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of properties being moved here and there, you know. Oh, so interesting. You, you find you find kind of you find work when you can. So right. You know, and it's and I'm sure you're making way different wonderful. than what you're normally shooting. Yeah. Would you ever shoot um, like I don't know anything in the like, the toy industry or absolutely know, other things absolutely like, like any like products and and toys absolutely fan I mean if you if you take a look at even what Sideshow does with their with their statues mm -hmm. the photography for that is fantastic it's true it's, it's incredible true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It really is true. Yeah. They they really are an, an, an artistic studio. Yeah. You know, I mean, it makes you want to buy it instantly. So true. yeah, very true. Yeah. So what would you want to tell us, you know, the final words, you know, either inspiration, perspiration, <laughs> uh, you know, what else do we want to know about Mark that we haven't asked yet? Oh gosh. Well, um, hopefully this year we'll, we'll, we'll all be able to get back together again at some point. I'm looking for an, a great year of collaborating with people this year because we haven't been able to kind of get together. So, um, yeah, I think that's the big thing. Do you think you'll be able to together. collaborate online with folks? I mean, if we yeah. can't get together physically, how do you, how well, do you think that will be tough? Like? It'll, I think it'll be tough, but I think we'll, we're going to have to try something, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you heard it, heard it here, folks. Mark Edwards, he's your man. If you want film noir, you want costuming, you want product shots, architecture, uh, you're moving. Um, he could take a great photo of your house um, for you, I'm sure. Uh, so, you know, I would definitely recommend Mark at any time for a cocktail or for a photo. Um, and, you know, I'd love to see you be more successful, Mark. I'd love to see you in person soon. <laughs> Same Please here. stay safe. Please, you know, come back as well and show us some new, new collaborations and new photos that you may be working on in the future. I think that'll be fun. You know. Thanks, Anita. So tell us, tell us where we can find you. Yeah. Where, so first of all, where do you sell your photos? Because if you do, make sure you tell us your shop and tell us all your social media handles. Well, you can you can visit me on my website. It's www.markedwardsphotos.com. I'm on Instagram at Mark underscore Edwards underscore photographer. And if you love the black and white or the film noir, old Hollywood photos, you can see me at uh, Mark Edwards Noir on Instagram. N-O-I-R. Yes. Yeah, that's it. All right. Cool. Um, I'm Anita Castellar. I'm signing off with you guys for this week, but you can find us here every week on Fangirl Friday Live. We do have also a YouTube channel for all the replays. So this will be up in a few days, but you can catch all of the previous episodes that we had for 2020 last year. And, you know, we're always around LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. So catch us on one of those spots. You can always definitely look for our pretty faces, including Mark's, <laughs> our little cape logo, or like I said, on YouTube. So thanks everybody for tuning in this week. Tune in again next week. We'll get your retro consoles going. That's all the teaser I'm going to tell you for next Ooh. week. So you have to show up for that one. And we'll talk to you soon. Happy Fangirl Friday, everybody. Bye.